For Unity's 20th anniversary game jam, I challenged myself to make a Doom-like FPS prototype in just 48 hours. In this video, I'll show you how I build it, the tricks I used to make it look and feel retro, and what I learned from the game jam. The theme was timeless, and Doom is one of the most timeless games ever made. People still play it today not because of graphics, but because the design is simple, fast and fun. Unity released an anniversary asset bundle for the game jam full of sprites and models from the previous versions of the editor. The Unity 4.2 stealth asset pack seemed perfect for recreating a 90s shooter vibe. I set up my itch.io page early and described my interpretation of the theme, then I started planning the project with Trello. Nowadays I draft the idea quickly in ChatGPT to help break it down into milestones. It's great for the planning stage, since it lists tasks such as import assets, which I often skip when planning alone, but this is an actual task that takes time to complete. When I was learning Unity and Game Dev, I did take part in different game jams and did a one game a week challenge. Planning is everything. It's so easy to overscope and fall simply because you ran out of time or planned too big of a project and just gave up. It took me around 2 hours to finish creating all the milestones and breaking them down into smaller, doable tasks. Once that was done, I could stop thinking about the entire project and just focus on completing the next task, importing assets, setting up the scene and implementing a basic movement system. And that's the part that really helps you finish a project. Once the plan is clear, you are finally free to just do the work. My original idea was to have four rooms. Player spawns in the first room. The room 2 gives the player an opportunity to get familiar with the shooting mechanic without posing a big of a challenge for the player. There are blue doors that are locked, so we need to leave through another set of doors. After clearing the third room, we would have a blue card spawn in, which we can use to unlock the blue door. And in the last room, I have planned a boss fight. In the provided assets, I have found this bear character, which would be perfect boss material. But I could only spend 4 to 6 hours per day on this project, so I couldn't possibly create everything. So I settled on increasing the enemy count in each room with a blue keycard that spawns after you clear room 3 and 4 slower shooting enemies in room 4. To recreate the look of Doom, I needed pixelation and simple lighting. I also had to convert 3D animated models into 2D sprites, because that's how the classic shooters worked. I tried using one of the auto sprite generators from the asset store, but unfortunately the result wasn't usable. So I grabbed the Unity Recorder package and captured the animated frames manually. Next I used Photoshop to remove the background and I had my robot character sprites ready. The enemies are sprite renderers with an animator parented to an object that constantly rotates to face the player and that has a box collider for detecting hits. The box collider ended up being a bit too small in the end build, which made shooting feel slightly off. With the enemies working, the game looked okay, but a bit too sharp. So I added a full screen shader graph pixelation effect and the result looked pretty good. I made a Unity Tip Shorts video on how to create this shader, so I'll leave a link to it in the description. I disabled lights in my scene and set environment light to color and chose a bright white color. The enemy AI is extremely simple. If they see the player, they will walk towards it. If close enough, they will stop and start shooting at intervals. One trick I used was giving enemies temporary invulnerability during their shooting animation. It's a bit unfair, but this way enemies have a chance to shoot at the player, improving the challenge of the game. Player gun was just a UI image with an animator and shooting was based on a raycast shot in the camera forward direction. Since I had to cut the boss fight, I still wanted a meaningful ending to this level. So I kept the idea of the blue card that opens the blue door to room 4, the door that would originally close behind the player when they enter. Instead of a boss fight, room 4 now contains 4 enemies that shoot about 50% slower, making it feel like a final challenge without needing a complex boss AI. And if you defeat all 4, you will get a win screen. The biggest challenge was movement. 
camera rotation speed took forever to tune. Too slow felt bad, too fast felt out of control. This is something I'd absolutely get player feedback on if I had more time. Although my game prototype ended up pretty mediocre, there is nothing better than shipping a game or a product that you made yourself. That's what I love about game jams. Also, this game jam is special because Unity is celebrating 20 years of helping game developers bring their ideas to life. The anniversary assets that were provided or some of them were around when I was learning, so coming back to them felt surprisingly nostalgic. And of course, the highlight is always seeing what other developers created. Thanks a lot to my Patreons who can download the full Unity project of my game through the link in the description. If you took part in this game jam, let me know how it went. Leave a link to your game in the comments section and I will be sure to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching.